Hello, welcome to my first of my uh, Chief Exec's messages that uh, we're doing on video. I'm going to use this medium as well as sending emails out as well. So there's a few things I want to talk to you about this week and the first one is the next stage of listening to action that we're going to do. As you know, a lot of you have been to uh, listening to action sessions that we've had over the last couple of years. And I think we've made a lot of good progress as a result of it and the things that I've heard back from staff around what we do in the organisation, how we solve some of the problems to enable staff to be able to do their jobs more effectively. So this year's uh, is going to focus really on what the values of the organisation are. And I really want people to be engaged in shaping up what the values are of this trust and what does that mean for patient care and what does that mean for uh, how we treat each other as staff. We've had a, lot of, had a lot of feedback from staff survey, been some very positive things that have come out of the staff survey, as well as some things where we need to improve on. And what I heard back from the last LA sessions were people expressing some concerns about how sometimes uh, they felt that some patients were spoken to, but also how staff spoke to each other. And this is what I want to address in the LIA session, so really getting information uh, from you as members of staff about what does it mean to work here? How do you want to be treated when you come to work? Um, what, uh, what contribution you make and what you can expect back from the trust in, in return for that? So we've organised uh, a number of listening to action sessions across the trust in Sutton, in Kingston, in Springfield. These sessions are going to be advertised very shortly on the intranet um, and I want as many of you to come to them as possible. It's two hour sessions. Uh, we're going to organise cover uh, for those people who work on ward so that they can get off. If people are on the days off, uh, I will arrange for people to be paid if they come in for, uh, to, to one of these sessions. So I encourage as many of you to come to these as possible. Uh, I think they will be good and I think that um, we will be able to shape up some of the values that we have as an organisation. It gives a, a really unique uh, way for you to be involved in this rather than that the, the values are made up in this office and, uh, and then people just have to accept those. So please come along, look on the intranet, details will be on there very shortly. So in two weeks time, um, it's this year's National Mental Health Awareness Week, it runs from the 11th of May to the 17th of May. And I think this is a good chance to build on some of the developments that we've seen over the last year, particularly of the awareness of mental health in across the general public. There's been a lot of uh, media uh, coverage around this and the benefits of positive mental health. And I think we're beginning to see a bit of a movement from some of the uh, stigma that we would see around mental health uh, and issues surrounding mental health. And it's becoming a bit more um, uh, talked about, which is great. I think that this is absolutely we need to be doing this. Um, so we need to really use Mental Health Awareness Week to get this message over to, to, to people. Now everyone who works in this trust will be aware of the importance of good mental health. I know you all are, and lots of you do this in your day-to-day -day jobs. This is about how do we get this message over to the general public. Uh, and there'll be a series of events uh, in the week that we'll be taking part of. Some of them will be open days for people to come in to Springfield and to Tolworth to look at the things that we do here um, and other events. Again, details are available on the internet, so please have a look at that, get yourself involved, see what we can do in terms of teams and wards that we work on to be able to contribute to that. So, Foundation Trust. Uh, this seems to have been going on a long, long time, and I know that um, uh, people have been involved in this for a number of years. It uh, feels now that we're on the last leg of, of, of this uh, journey to become a Foundation Trust. I'm really pleased to be able to say that we have now um, completed our uh, assessments by the Trust Development uh, Agency, um, and we've now been passed over to Monitor. Monitor are the people who are the regulators of foundation trusts across the country. And this is a body that will decide whether we uh, are able to become a foundation trust or not. So we have now been passed to Monitor as an organisation that is ready uh, to become a foundation trust. Monitor will be doing a big assessment of us. They will start in July. Uh, it will probably be about a four-month assessment. 
Uh, and they will look at our governance procedures, they will look at how uh, the leadership of the organisation is, it will look at staff engagement and whether we are financially robust uh, and viable as an organisation. I'm really confident that we will uh, pass this uh, assessment uh, and at the end of that assessment we should be licensed as a foundation trust. So in the autumn, uh, I'm really confident and, and expect for us to be licensed by Monitor as a foundation trust. Terrific achievement. Uh, it's taken a long time to, to get this, but the last 18 months we've really made big strides uh, and, and moved forward. And it's testament to everyone who works in the organisation because this is about how we all work, uh, the quality of care that we provide and how we run the services. So an exciting time for us. A lot of work still to be done. People will be engaged, monitor when they come in, we'll want to talk to people. We'll provide lots of information about this when it starts. So we're now doing some of the preparation work in advance of that. And as I say, we expect to see them on site talking to us and looking at all of our systems, governance procedures, um, and, um, and, and how we run the organization in July. So that's uh, my messages for this week. I hope you found them interesting. Um, and if you want to give me feedback around things, please do so either by uh, contacting the uh, communications uh, team or contact me directly on my uh, email address, the same as everybody else's email address in the trust. Thank you.